Hello again, and this time welcome to the lesson on prime factorization. What's prime factorization? It is writing a number, writing a number as the product of primes. Okay, as the product of primes. So what is a prime number? That might be your next question. What is a prime number? A prime number is a number that has only one and itself as a factor. A prime number is a number that only has one and itself as a factor. And now you might ask, okay, so what is a factor? A factor is a number that divides without a remainder. Okay, now you're saying, okay, whoa, stop all this definitions. Okay, a factor is a number that divides without a remainder. So, for example, 2 is a factor of 8 because 2 can divide into 8 without a remainder. Okay, so a factor can divide without a remainder. A prime is a number that the only factors that it has, the only numbers that can divide and not have a remainder is the number 1. 1 can divide any integer and we won't get a remainder. Okay, and itself. And we also know that any number x divided by itself x is equal to 1. Okay, so there's nothing in between 1 and itself that can divide it without a remainder. Good, that is a prime. Okay, now writing something as the product. Remember product is a different word for multiplying. Okay, writing number as the product of primes. Let's go through the numbers. 1 is not a prime number, to be honest. 1 is called the unit number. It's not prime and it's also not uh, the opposite of prime is or the other numbers are called composite numbers. Okay, but we'll get there just now. 1 is not a prime. 2 is prime because 2 can only be written as 1 times 2. There's no other product that I can write. 3 is also prime because we can also only say 1 times 3. However, the number 4 is called a composite number because we can write 4 as 2 times 2. Notice how we've written 4 as the product of two prime numbers. 2 we said was prime. Okay. Now how about 5? Five? 5 can only be written as 1 times 5. No other something times something gives me 5. Okay. How about 6? The number 6 okay, can be written as 2 times 3. Again, notice this is the product of two prime numbers. Okay, and this is again called composite. These are called composite numbers. Okay. Another prime is this value 7 because we can only write it as 1 times 7. 1 and 7 are the only ones that divide into it without a remainder. How about the number 8? Notice how no even number is a prime number because 2 is a factor. 2 can divide into it. Okay, so it's not just 1 in itself. 8 can be written as 2 times 4, but 4 can again be written as 2 times 2. So 8 can be 2 times 2 times 2. Let's write this one as 2 squared. Okay, then this one can be written as 2 cubed. Okay, so 8 is also composite. How about 9? Nine? 9, you might think, oh, that's prime, but remember 9 can be written as 3 times 3. So 3 times 3, or 3 squared. Notice that all of the composite numbers can be written as the product of primes, and this is called prime factorization. Okay, let's do one more. 10 can be written as 2 times 5, 